we can guarantee that Paul Pavletic will be in the mix. Uh, on the number four, the Yamaha OW01. Look for him on the far outside as we look at it. He's got the very best of the starts. Uh, but going with him once again is the man from Kiri Kiri on the, uh, the naked Kawasaki ZX-10. And by naked, I mean without a fairing. And that is the Dock 2 Wheels uh, Tektronics House of Custom, a nationwide sponsored uh, Patrick Nussbaum from Kiri Kiri, the winterless north. He currently sits in second place as they come over the top for the first of six times. Yamaha, Kawasaki and Honda. Once again, a giant killing performance from the 57, Mark Robinson on the little 125, the two-stroke machine. He, he's been wonderful today. If they had a commentator's pick, he'd be right up there because um, he is really battling it out with these guys. They out-horsepower him easily, uh, but they can't outbreak him and certainly they can't uh, outhandle him. So Mark Robinson doing a great job on the Muddy Paws Poke Plus uh, little RS125 Honda. Just being out-muscled horsepower-wise that time by uh, Shane Lowry. Shane's riding the Bermota, B, uh, YB7, the Boyd Motorcycles, Pirelli, uh, RST, Moto Leatherwear. Shane's a lawyer, so if you get into a bit of strife, you should uh, call on Shane. Been around the motorcycle uh, traps for a long, long time as well, so doing a pretty good job out there on the motor. What a wonderful machine that is. It's one of the things here with Pyra, there's some amazing machinery in the pits uh, that you're very welcome to have a look at as the racing continues or even when it's uh, completed. Uh, but as I mentioned before, don't uh, get in the way of the guys and girls. They'll probably be loading up by the time you get there. Across the stripe, he comes once again. They, no, it's not him. Yes, it is. They used to call him Superman. <laughs> he's ridden for factory Honda teams. He's ridden in the Castrol 6 hour. He's got around about, I think it's 10 national titles to his name. He's ridden just about every class they race at in uh, New Zealand motorcycling. He is, of course, Paul Pavletic, ex-CEO of Motorcycling New Zealand, stalwart of the Auckland Motorcycle Club. In and out of the Suzuki S as he comes once again in second place. It is Kerry Kerry's um, Patrick uh, Nussbaum from the Dock 2 Wheel Tektronics uh, House of Customs uh, Kawasaki. And in third place, it is Mark Robinson. In fact, it's not now. I think it might be um, Shane Lowry on the 84. We'll check on that for you as they come through uh, this next time round. Heading down into the Suzuki S is number uh, 297. That's James Jowman. Best lap for Pavlidic was a 49.465, 50.697 for Nelsbaum, 51.699 for Mark Robinson. And remember, he's on the little 125. <coughs> Nelsbaum looks like he's getting a little bit closer now to the Yamaha of Paul Pavlidic as they work their way in and out of the Suzuki S's. Mark Hatton through in fourth place. Then it's Hay, then it's Lowry. Then it's um, the 20 of Nigel Lennox. Those three having a great little battle. James Dowman is in that one as well. It's uh, Todd Ackroyd. So at least two laps left to run in this one. It's the final heat of the showy helmet sponsored post classic pre 89s it's against uh, to be decided over six laps mark hay on the gsxr 1100 suzuki currently sitting in fifth place a little bit of a backfire as he works his way down to the breaking area for the ash caddy turn one in time the race leader's long gone him at the top end of the circuit now. White flag out for Pav. I was doing some commentary with Paul a few years ago now with the television. I think it might have been in the uh, New Zealand Superbike uh, Championship days at Pukekohe and it was when young Sam Smith, people who've been around the sport will remember Sam, uh, was putting it to the established stars in the 600 class and <laughs> I said something like... Um, his rise has been um, amazing and he just gets better and better and better and Pat laconically said uh, out of the other microphone, yeah Phil he's only young, he doesn't know how to bleed yet. 
and that is so true for lots of motorcyclists. Uh, Sam Smith, by the way, was competing in the Supermotos, so he hasn't been lost completely to motorcycling at Bay Park overnight. He was a real talent with a little bit of guidance and help. From uh, Team Yamaha. Pav makes it a clean sweep in the bit in the uh, post classics. Nussbaum's got to be content with that second, and he is. Puts his hand up to acknowledge the crowd, acknowledges all their support. Once again, a giant killing performance coming from Mark Robinson on the little 125 Honda. We talked about this before. The circuit configuration here for the Hacksaw circuit, while it is a circuit of two halves, really, point and squirt in some places, but phenomenally quick in others, and that, that makes the performance of Mark Robertson's even better. Mark Robertson on a 125 Honda, and they haven't made them for years and years and years. It's a two-stroke machine, as I said. Be lucky if it's got 30-odd horsepower, up against 100 plus horsepower of uh, the bikes that he's beating. That is an amazing performance, especially when you take in consideration that he's matching them stride for stride in uh, top speeds as well. So well done to Mark Robinson. Third place in this one, as he was in the previous heat, but Paul Pavletic wins it from past, uh, Patrick Nussbaum from Kerry Kerry. So Yamaha, Kawasaki, Honda are the order, or is the order. Showy brought it to you, and don't forget, you can still go and have a look at the new Neotech Showy helmet on display on the corner of William and Marshall Street, as we'll find the 